Come on. Look out for anything out of place, doll. It's a small nail. It must have fallen from the window. I'll just take the nail with me. The uses for it are practically endless. No point in dragging her around. It's all so disrespectful. I'll come back after all this is over and bury her back in the yard, underneath the pines. It's the most peaceful place in the world. Yes, yes, drawers. What will they think of next? Just my stuff. I still haven't unpacked properly. It's my bed. It comes with all the luxuries a bed should have. It's not working, but that's okay. I can't tell the time anyways. Unpack stuff from our city apartment. Let's guess what's inside. I bet it's full of bouncing balls, sorted and packed neatly according to color, size, or bounceability. It's locked. It's a tree, like the ones outside, only this one is inside. It's creepy, I don't like it. Come on. I can't use that. Come on. I don't think so. Are you even trying? I don't think so. Do what with it? It's just a window. Don't let this crippling amnesia get to you. You can do this. My chest. It's the best. Since I'm paying for the view, I might as well enjoy it. It's so sad what happened to her. I can't use that. I can't use that. Come on. Do what with it? Do what with it? I use this chest as a reading bench sometimes. Unlike most women, I just like to sit near the window on a cold autumn day under a warm blanket with a good book. It's just this weird work I have. Mirror, mirror on the wall. 
who will be a beautiful princess who's bound to live a long and happy life in a castle somewhere in France and have lots of ponies. Um, you are Amber, like for totes. I knew it. Did that thing just talk? I don't know, did it? I don't know what these are for, but I'm not allowed to take them. They taste terrible anyways. It's full of uninteresting stuff. Come on. Wait, it's locked. But why? A door. No, really. That's 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 all there is to it. It le it leads to the attic. Hence the Any lead? That's classified. You two remembered something. Nothing useful, probably. I remember my first job. I got a job helping out at the local library after school. I was never much of a bookworm, but I would just sit there among the books and smell the air, see? That old book smell still lingers to this day. I would sit there on a banister way past the end of my shift, admiring all the people there, the scholars, the academics. I guess they were a reminder of all the things I could be someday, see? Then they had to lock up and the janitors would come and just toss me out back into a dumpster. Any leads on the missing kid yet? That's c nothing. I remember I was never that old. I would sit the sky. I guess then they. We'll have to find another way. There's a small key up there. It looks lonely. I guess you could say... It's just hanging around. We'll have to find another way. This chair is so comfortable, but we don't have time to sit around. Well, Ted will probably need to at some point. He's getting old. Huh? You didn't... Do what with it? Come on. I can't use that. I can't use that. Come on.
neatly folded in half and thrown over the bed. Rest. I don't think so. You use them to move up and down the house. Fascinating stuff. Do what with it? I don't think so. Yes, yes. No point in dragging her around. It's all so disrespectful. I'll come back after all this is over and bury her back in the yard, underneath the pines. It's the most peaceful. I don't think so. Come on. Do what with it? Do what with it? Come on. Are you even trying? for when you get tired of walking up and down this hallway. My old trusty lamp. I never walk around this hallway without her. We should get back to Millie. We should get back to Millie.
Look out for anything out of place, doll. It's so sad what happened to her. Poor Millie. I've had her since I was five, and now she's gone. It's so sad what happened to her. Poor Millie. I've had her since I was five, and now she's gone. Cornflakes. They've gotten cold and mushy and gross. No point in dragging her around. It's all so disrespectful. I'll come back after all this is over and bury her back in the yard, underneath the pines. It's the most peaceful place in the world. I'll take it with me. With some proper crafting, it can be used to access things out of my reach. I don't think so. Do what with it? We should really go to Paper City. Where did you say the entrance was? You use them to move up and down the house. Fascinating stuff. Actually worked? You just unlocked something with an old rusty nail? How convenient is that? That's just lazy writing. Don't be such a negative Nancy, Snoop. Of course it worked. My genius knows no bounds. Yay, I got the hook thingy. I bet this will be super useful, like really soon. This won't hold on its own. Do what with it? I can't use that. Come on. I can't use that. Come on. I don't think so. I don't think so. There. Now I can have higher aspirations.
I'll take this key with me, just in case. It's always good to have keys around. Are you even trying? <laughs> Millie, Rust, and the mugshots all escaped through the East Tunnel. It's closed off now. We've heard from several sources now that the police commissioner had ordered a lockdown. I was starting to wonder, was it to keep everyone at bay till they catch the person responsible? Or was it to maybe keep someone out? It's too big of a coincidence that all of this started to happen at the same time I left the city. And now, I find myself unable to return. I've come across the Mugshot Brothers, but as expected, they were uncooperative. Wise guys, reasoning with them is a fruitless effort. However, the little information I got from them could be useful later. They seem nervous, I mean, more than usual. We found some clues around the house that could help us find Flint, but so far, everything is leading nowhere. I've examined the evidence myself, but can't connect the dots yet. It seems appropriate that the last case in my career would be like this. Everyone knows the story. The detective only has a couple of days till retirement, but then the lady in distress shows up and begs him to help her out. He decides, against all reason, to do this one last thing, but the case proves to be his hardest yet. Somewhere down the line, the detective gets shot, fade to black. We had a run-in with the main suspect, the man in the red hood. Unfortunately, we were too late. It's sad what happened to Millie, and Amber really lost it for a moment. I did all I could, and gave her a promise that I'd catch the man responsible. It's not much, but it's the least I can do. We had to table all of our options, and we decided to go back to Paper City. I have an informant there that could know some things, and that's our best bet at the moment. Red, it seems, wants to get to Amber, so I figured I'd draw him out. The best place to do that is the city. I need to level the field, coordinate with the police, and to set a trap. After we get him cornered, I'll make him talk, and we'll find out what happened to Flint. Let's just hope it's not too late.